Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share to you some new features of Zipgrade, new online testing features that will be useful in our assessment of student learning, especially when we will decide to make uh, our midterm or our final exam to be vert, uh, a virtual assessment. Okay. The, to start with, Zipgrade uh, had some ad two additional features, which is open submission and verified submission. So, first we have the open submission, wherein uh, access code or URL will be given to the students in order to access a particular quiz or test or exam, and student enters their name and or ID no validation of name or id required and the exam will be uh, is time has a time limit so pdf questions must be uploaded and only the primary key will be shown to the students okay and then next you have the second type of uh submission will be the verified submission because the students will need to have a code for each student. This particular code will be given by the teacher. Actually, this is what they call the access code. And the student must have, uh, the, uh, will have a, a student user same code for all quizzes. For all quizzes, they have the same code and also the same student ID. In this uh, type of submission, the student, the teacher must give the student their student ID based on their, uh, on what is been put in the zip grade. Later on, I will show to you what I mean by the student ID and also the, the access code. So more options in the verified submission, you can uh, schedule future quizzes. You can submit, uh, the mission will be limited, means the students could be able to submit once or twice and show scores and or marks on the, on the student's answer. PDF questions also uh, need to be uploaded uh, in, in all keys. So in, in short, you can, in the, the advantages of this uh, verified submission, you can set uh, uh, as many as, uh, as uh, 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 you can set uh, tests like set A, set B, set C, set D, as long as um, they are they are the same exam. Uh, set A is the same as set B. Difference is in set B it is randomized. Set C it is randomized. Set D is it is randomized. But who randomize exam you the teacher will will randomize it in the in in the microsoft word first uh example if you have set a already and then uh, uh set b you you in set a you randomize it and make it set b uh, and uh set c you randomize uh you set b you randomize it to make it set C. So those are the things that uh, you need to do and, and then you convert it into PDF form. Okay, so to get started with this, uh, I will uh, show to you uh, the Zipgrade uh, uh, website. So this is my account. So first we need to go to our account. Actually, this is the uh, uh, the the uh, details of the account and in response to COVID-19 uh, Zipgrade uh, set these new features to take a Zipgrade assessment it is very useful it is a remote uh, Zipgrade assessment remote uh, features using any web browser it can either be Google Mozilla Firefox or any browser and this is very available right now in all accounts and either be paid or free if you have a free account you can use this anytime 
there are no limits on online submissions. So to, so to learn more, you have instructions there and in order to be updated, you have to sign up here. So uh, in your account, be sure that you should set first the time zone because when you have a free account, the time zone usually is uh, US, uh, US based. So in, in the Philippines, uh, there's, there is no Philippine uh, time zone here, but rather you could choose Singapore because it is near the Philippines. Rather, you can choose Hong Kong, like that. Okay, so first, uh, now, uh, you go with the first thing that you will do is uh, to set a class, to set a class. So you click classes. Uh, example you you have this class uh, you can you can uh, okay you first you need to add a class so example the class is uh, physics uh, one uh, the class will be waves and optics and save the class okay you have their waves and optics after that creating a class you go to the student section and add some students to that class. So, uh, example, you add student, add new student. So, uh, you have their example, John. John uh, Stock. Okay, we have John Stock. <laughs> example, uh, last name is Stock. Okay. Uh, we, we will put Jan to the waves and optics class. It's the same, but this is just only a sample. So example, uh, what we created a while ago is a class of waves and optics. So you will click save that student it so that it will be included in the uh, classes here in the waves and optics. To check, you, you click classes and check if your student is enrolled or uh, enrolled in that class by uh, checking the, you can check the edit uh, student ro roster. So you can see there John Stock. Okay. So John Stock is already added here. So next step that you will do is to uh, not, not, uh, not, uh, next is you, Create first an answer sheet before we proceed with the quizzes. We create first an answer sheet. So, uh, you choose to customize answer sheet as an example. So, you create a series of answer sheet here and publish here and use it later in the quizzes. So, first we need to create new answer sheet name. Uh, example, the name of the quiz is Waves and Optics. Okay, so next. Okay, so in in using the in using the the answer sheet in the uh, uh, online submission, I I suggest that you don't need to have this two, just only the name, and make it large. It's okay. So next, uh, click next and uh, just be sure that this one is already checked. Take note that the key version are the set of the test. Set A, set B, set C, set D. So it, it is visible to the students. Okay. You can remove it if, it, if you want not to be visible to the students. Or it would be visible later in the quizzes okay next is uh, you add multiple choice questions in online exam that's like uh, the one that i will introduce to you they don't uh, allow other type of tests just like this one this one and this one only the multiple choice so you click uh, we will have an example only five questions and the labels will be a b c d Okay, we add questions. Then we have the output here of the uh, answer sheet. So next thing is to publish. 
and click OK once you are sure of your answer sheet. And check the answer sheet. Answer sheet name is Web Waves and Optics. Okay? So next thing that you will do after creating the answer sheet, take note of the name of the answer sheet is Waves and Optics. So the next thing that you will do is to uh, create quizzes. So I have here some sample quizzes. But uh, we will uh, start a new one so that uh, you will uh, uh, be guided on the process. So first you click new quiz. So new quiz. Okay, the quiz name is Waves and Optics. And then the answer sheet will be the one that you created a while ago, waves and ops, optics. So the date created, this one is the date created, the quiz. You, uh, the first thing that you will do is the uh, online open submission. Okay, oh, we, I will introduce first the open online submission and later on the verified uh, Submission. So oh, you click open online submission and click uh, the class a while ago that we created is waves and optics and click save quiz. And after that, uh, uh, you check the details. You have the quiz details here and you can see the name and the name of the quiz, the answer sheet, the date that you created the, this particular quiz set. In the class, the class means the, the course and section that will uh, take this uh, particular quiz. And we can see there some score distribution, papers and the score percent. We have here a chart and we have here the answer key. And we the answer key as we have only one, there is one because we have only set A, but later on, we will have set sample of set B, okay, to differentiate. Next, we have the online submission here. Later on, we will edit this one, okay. And then we have the graded papers. When, when the student will submit the answer sheet and also uh, the result of his or her exam, it will be shown here later, okay. So next you have the quiz statistics. So in the quiz statistics, you will be able to know how many papers were submitted, how many questions were uh, included in the exam or in the quiz, and the possible points of the students. And we have also the score and the percent here. And then we have the, the mean and the median. And we have also the item analysis, which is very useful to our us if our item is uh, has a higher or lower discriminatory factor and we could have an alternating alternative answers for that so we have a number of persons who got correct and number of persons or oh, a percent of the correct answer uh, on on that particular item okay and also the answer okay oh, oh, the answer okay so let us start with uh, uh, the first uh, thing that you will do is to secure your exam. So you need to have uh, a set of exam. So before that, uh, I will check my documents. So in my documents, I will I have here a sample quiz. Okay, this is a sample quiz in physics. So we have five items just like this, but be sure that you have a five. This is a, this is the PDF form of the sample quiz. So we, okay, we will just use this uh, PDF form for the sample quiz later, and then uh, be sure that you have also a soft copy of the quiz. The, this one okay so we have a soft copy of the quiz okay so I think uh, this is uh, your set A for a moment 
So we will save this as, uh, we will not use the, that PDF a while ago. So we will just uh, name it as set A and save it in documents. Uh, just so for a soft copy set A. And then if it is final, uh, be sure that you have uh, convert this into PDF as set A. Okay, A, uh, PDF. Okay, we have already our set A. Now, we will make our set B. So the same question, we will just uh, make it random. So example number one, we will uh, make it as number five. We will make this number five. And we will make number five as number one. And we will make number two as number uh, this num this particular item. Uh, we will make number two and we will make this one as number uh, number four. Two. Okay, what happened? Uh, Okay, I think we have uh, an excess. Okay, so we need to remove this one. Okay, we will just make this item number two, three, and we will make this item number four. And we will make this a set, uh, set B set b so as a soft copy for a moment we will make it set b and save it in the documents and afterwards if it is final be sure that you know already the the answer you have already the answer key okay we will uh, make this as a pdf form okay this is set b pdf form okay done so before that, uh, we will determine first the answer key for both both uh, sets. So we have a set, set A. Example, the, the answer here is, okay, this is a soft copy. This will be your, your uh, answer key. Okay, letter A, zero, D. Okay, you need to remember the answer key because later we will key in the answer key in the key, se key section. So, and then also this is a set A. We will uh, try to put the answer key also in set B. Okay, we have number one here uh, we're just simply put it number five this one is d zero and we have uh, d and we have a okay so first uh, we will have a set a we already have the the PDF form. The next step that you will do, uh, you will do is key in first the answer key for for set A and set B. So we need to click edit here in the answer key section, and then uh, we have key A. Uh, we key A stands for set A, set A of the exam. So we key in the answer here. So we need to return to set A to check the answer key. We have number one is D, two is D, uh, three is A, four A, and five D. So we have D, D, A, A, and D. Okay, and then we save the key. That is for set A. And we need to add another key for set B. 
and there there will be a question will this new key be mapped to the primary key or will you provide another answer and point values for each question you, you could answer provide however if it is the same exam and then you randomize it you you, you you need to choose mapped key so in mapping the key means that uh, this is uh, actually set a this is actually set a and this is actually set b so whatever answer here in set a is the same with set b however it is randomized uh, example uh, the number one number one question in set a this one is the number one question in set a you should check in set b where does it where did uh, where did it fall in number yes the, here in number five so you you could map a uh, number one here and put it here in number five because question number one in set a was put in number one a uh, number five in set b and then you check it again check where did you put number two in what number here to map uh, set uh, number two question is this one in set a and in set b it is number four so you put number two here in number four okay so next that you will do is uh you you will have uh, number three question number three this one is okay uh you need to remember you need to uh, remember it and check where does it fall in number three again no number it's got number two so you put number three here to number two this one okay next is number four where did where did you put number four this is set A. They familiar, uh, remember the question in set in number four. Where does it fall in set B? Set B here. Uh, okay, it's uh, it is in number three. So you go back. Number four falls to num number three in set B. Now number five. Where does it fall? So obviously you have one two four and three here one uh, this one will be number five so this is the randomized question in set b and this is the answer key for set b so you save click save and then you go back to the quiz and okay you can see their number of active keys too because you only set a we have only set a and set b if you want to add another one we have set c i think uh, i will give my example only for set a and set b okay next uh step that you will do is to go to the online submission in the online submission uh open submission was enabled so click view or edit first thing that you will do is uh, we have here the question in PDF versions. You need, we have here set A, set A, set B, set C, set D of test questions. So first you will uh, upload set A, but the, the, the file that you will upload is only the PDF form because it, it will not accept uh, other forms like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Publisher but rather a PDF form of file so you click upload check the box here and find click choose file and find your uh, file that you save in set A so this is a set A in PDF form so you click set A and then upload the file so after uploading the file you upload a uh, set a you upload a set b another one because you have two sets of exam so we have set b and then click set b and upload selected file so you have already two sets of exam okay uh, a, uh, in the uh, you have exam in different sets but the other one is random and the other one is your original 
uh, sequence of the items. So you have your student will be able to see the key letter. Uh, the student could uh, able to see what set of uh, tests did he or she uh, got. Example, uh, you can hide the key letter if you want. If not, uh, if it is okay for you, uh, it's shown and it can be seen by student that uh, he or she is uh, having the, the set A or other he or she will have the set B. Who determines who determines the, the set to be given to the student? Zip grade. Zip grade is the one that assigned to the student who will take either the zip grade will give him or her set B or uh, give him or her set A. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, zip grade who, who managed to uh, give either set A or set B. Now, next step, so we will not deal for a moment the verified submission, but rather we will focus on the open submission. Later on, we will discuss about the verified submission. In the open submission, you can have here the quiz URL. Quiz URL to be given to the students. You need to copy this. Click copy URL. And uh, you can send it to the student through the FB social learning group. Or you can send them in their messenger. In the open submission, in the open submission, the students have no specific date. Uh, exact, well, uh, there is no specific date to answer or there's no deadline for that. Uh, that's why it is open. Anytime the students could answer the quiz. Any day, any month. Uh, okay, that's the reason why it is open. So, uh, well, uh, there is no uh, time span or there is no uh, specific deadline or date for when will the quiz will be ended? That is in the open submission. You can can give the uh, URL and then give also the online quiz code because they will need the quiz code later. Okay, so uh, you have here the quiz option. You can set the time limit since it is five items only. You can set the time limit only for five minutes. It depends on the how hard the item item of the exam so you can set 10 or 5 for me it's only 10 because it's quite easy so set the time limit so after setting the time limit go back again uh, you have changed already the time limit into five minutes so auto, how about this auto submit abandoned papers means uh example if the student uh abandoned the exam the middle of uh, answering the exam uh, what will happen you can you can off the abandoned uh, you can you can uh, if you will change this into on if the student will abandon it it will automatically submit if it will it if it will not be abandoned it will automatically uh it will not sub it will not be submitted i think uh, the students could continue require valid uh, student id I, it can uh, put it as off for you can put it as off okay and then th this is uh, already ready so you copy the url for example for example if i am the student okay i i will use the url for example i am the student I will use the URL as a student you, you can see this student online submission in an open submission this is an open submission version so a student will uh, see this uh, part of the website wherein uh, uh, you can see the quiz name waves and optics and their instruction enter your student ID number and name below as you would uh, a zip grade answer sheet. So you can have your name box and the uh, zip grade student ID. So since uh, the zip grade uh, student ID, let's go back again to the 
since the zip grade uh, student ID was off, so it, it, the student could could uh, leave this part as blank. But if you will change this into on, the students are required to put the student ID. So if it is off, you can leave it blank. Just put the name there. Example, we have uh, John a while ago. The name is John. Okay. And then click the box here that you agree with the terms. And there's an instruction here. Before you take the exam, you will have a five minutes to complete this quiz once you click below. So there is a quick uh, click uh, starting point there. Start quiz. So you click start quiz. Or the student will click start quiz. And then automatically the exam will appear. So as you can see, uh, the, the, there is a quiz name, name of the box, name of the uh, student, John. Uh, I, I, I suggest that you uh, remind the students to put the full name rather than only the first name. If it is an open submission, you can see also the time remaining, 4 minutes and 28 seconds. It, it is uh, autom automatically uh, moving and you have auto save on and you have answer key version you have we have the uh, the zip grade gave me uh, set a test okay if you hide the key version it will not appear this way you will, the student will not know what type of uh, what type of uh, what set of exam that he or she is taking you can set it on or you can set it off. And then, uh, example, if I am the student, I will uh, just an example answer here. What if the students will have double answer? Example number five. And then after that, the students will, uh, th this is the question, by the way, this is the 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 set of questions so that the students will read and then put his or her answer at the left side. And then the students will review. Click review and submit to the teacher. It will not submit yet to the teacher, but the students will review the answer. So example, if the students have some error like this, he or she could go back and correct it. But we will stay, uh, we will, uh, example, uh, example, if, if ever it will happen that two answers uh, let us see if what will happen to the ano, to the score of the student if he or she has two answers Auto, I, uh, it usually it will have a wrong answer here even though it, the, and the other letter is correct and the other is wrong so it is not uh, valid so let us see so if the student is uh, uh, decided to submit it to the teacher, he, he will click, he or she will click the submit to teacher. Okay, now, as you can see, in the open, open, uh, open submission, uh, you, ha you can see this part. Uh, the, there will be no, uh, the students could not, couldn't see he or he uh his or her an uh, score here but rather he he or she could see the his or her answer so there is an instruction here that uh, is uh, the response were submitted and the online quiz code and we have here the confirmation code and your response the responses submitted to the teacher for grading Okay, the student could print or save the page for confirmation and uh, refer to the instructions for a teacher regarding how and when the results will be available. So in an open submission, the, t the teacher will, uh, will be the one to uh, give the results later on. So how will the teacher give the results? So let us go back to our quiz this one so we need to click back to quiz here and after that you will see there is one person submitted a while ago that's john so you can see there the graded paper papers here 
can see the John here. Yeah. And then you can click John. As a teacher, you can see the score of John is only one out of five. So you can see the primary answers, the answer key, and the student answer. So as you can see, uh, the student, John, answered two, two choices in number five. Even though uh, letter D is correct, but uh, he or she has a double answer, the computer will mark it as wrong. Should be, you should, uh, the student should have only one answer. So, so the teacher could, in an open submission, the teacher could uh, scan the image, this one, or this one, and, submit, and uh, show it to the student. That is for open submission. So you need to back to the quizzes. Now, you can see also the quiz statistics. You can also see the item analysis done. Okay, so next we will have the open submission. How could we make, uh, we will have the verified submission. So how could we make this quiz uh, verified? So first and foremost, uh, we, need to re we need to go back to the My Account so that we will enable the student portal. Yeah, this one. The student portal allows student to log in. So in the verified uh, submission, verified submission, you need first to enable the student portal. So this will be the website that uh, the students will, you will give the URL to the students, this one, to enter to the student portal. So first, we need to click the enable, uh, enable student portal. So the student portal has been enabled in this account. Please use the student tab to retrieve the student access codes. So okay, that is already section for the teacher. And then you give the URL example. We will open this one so that you could see what is the student portal looks like. So let me put it here. Okay, so the student portal looks like this. So we have two parts. This one is the verified submission and this one is the open submission. The open submission can be used if you have an online quiz code. So if you have a verified a submission, we have this one, log into student portal. So later on, we will try to log in as an example. So let's go back for a while. Uh, and then uh, go back to our quizzes again. And to make the exam, okay, let's have uh, an example here. Another exam, uh, yeah, we are sample quiz in physics. Okay, so we need to delete first the student here. This is how you delete the students, okay, to have a new set later. So this is an exam, uh, another, another quiz. So we have sample quiz in physics. The class is physics 105 waves in optics. And then uh, we have here, uh, okay, the quiz details. And I have here four sets, or well, number of active keys, four sets. If you will see it, uh, I have here key set A, set B, set C, set D uh, type of exam. So you, you go back to quiz. So later on, uh, uh, ZipGrade will give me, uh, will give the students a random set of tests can either be A, B, C, or D. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we go back, we go here to the online submission and we will, uh, we will not uh, do the online open submission, but rather this one, the open online. So I will just uh, delete this for a moment because this is an old uh, Okay, so in the verified uh, submission, you can schedule, uh, create new quiz assignment. You, uh, papers are automatically connected to the student with verified submission. And students log in to the student portal to begin these quizzes. So create a new quiz. Okay, we have here physics. And you can set when will the, the, the quiz will start and what time. You can set when will it end. Example, example, you have three days, 
you have five days till the end of the exam. Example, uh, we started the exam on September 14th at uh, we will set this as 8 a.m. Okay. Those the exam will start at 8 a.m. today. Okay. And then uh, we, the exam will end at uh, September 21. Uh, but we will just put it September 18 at uh, 9 p.m. Okay. How many days? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the students could answer the quiz for five days. However, they will just answer it. Uh, they could submit only once and they could not retake it again. So time limit, you set the time limit on the quiz uh, since it is five items, five minutes. So you can click show score after completion of the uh, quiz if the student submitted it automatically the computer will show the the score of the student and what item he or she got a mistake uh, but however the, the answer key will not be given uh, automatically later on i will show you uh, next you have show questions missed uh, and then you uh, you you ensure that it is single submit but you can have two submissions, three submissions, and limited submissions. But whether you will choose a single submit, only one the students could submit the quiz. And then you click create new quiz. Okay. When you click the create new quiz, you have already the scheduled uh, verified submission uh, quiz here. Okay. And then I have here the set of the exam. So next step that you, that the uh, the teacher will do is go, uh, you need to go back again to the quizzes, and and you will wait for the students to submit. However, how how will the students uh, uh, get inside the student portal? The student portal uh, the student will use a student ID and access code. So you the the students, uh, the teacher will give the student ID and access code to the student. However, you cannot do like copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, and send it to the student. Rather, you click this one. You click the edit. In order for the, to have a formal instructions on how to log in you click this one login instructions pdf to john so to john stock example to john stock okay uh, we will not uh, use john stock for a moment but rather we will use daniel padilla because daniel padilla is enrolled in physics uh, 105 waves and optics so we need to click edit and then we will we will send Daniel Padilla an uh, login instruction. So we click login instruction PDF. It will be downloaded there in the. Uh, it uh, you can see the here. Uh, you can see the downloaded file to, in the download uh, folder. So you click the PDF. After clicking the PDF, you can see there a formal instruction on for the students on how to access the student portal. So as you can see, uh, the zip grade uh, student portal allows your teacher to schedule quiz and the post results of secure location. Do not share your credentials with other students. There's a note there. Do not share your credentials with other students. So it is not advisable to give to other students the student ID and access code uh, to other students. So be sure that they, they will not share their student ID and access code to other students. So we have here the the student portal website for students to to enter. So example, we will close this one, we will close this one, and then example students will click this one, and automatically the students will go to the student portal. But before that, let's go back to the PDF. This PDF. 
this is a formal uh, uh, procedure and to be sent to the student uh, one by one daniel padilla if you have another student another student different student id different as access code so you you uh, send this to the student and the student just follow the instruction in order to log into the student portal example the student i will be the student i will log into the student portal but be sure the student will uh, remember the student id and access code so let us uh, okay one eight two four five let's copy the access so one eight two four five one eight two four five and we have this one okay access code and click login so the students will able to see uh, this is a student portal of Daniel Padilla student ID 18245 and the students will able to see the assigned quizzes of the teacher and the posted graded papers so in the assigned quiz assigned quizzes we have here the sample quiz in physics the class when was a quiz started in what time and when will the quiz ended and in what time so there will be a time limit of five minutes and the student could click this one to begin the quiz so example if i am the student to answer this uh, verified uh, submission i will click begin quiz and there is another instruction here that you the students will have five minutes to complete the quiz once it is started if they encounter any connectivity issues they they may log into the student portal to continue to get do so if there's a connectivity issue they could continue the quiz uh, at the end of the time limit your answer sheet and answer any answers made at that time will automatically be submitted to your teacher so you so if i'm a student i will now begin the quiz okay so i can see here uh, this version of the exam is set C, okay, and the time is running, and then the, this is example, example, this is the answer sheet. So, uh, the students will answer, so this is just only an example, okay, okay, so click review, okay, the students will review the answer. And then if the, the student decided that it is final, the student will click submit to teacher. Okay, now after the students uh, student click the submit to teacher, yeah, the student could see his or her score here. Earned points is one over five. So percent correct is only 20%. And the student could see the answer sheet. And the correct answer is number one, one point sha, and the rest are wrong. The student could not see here the, the, the answer key. Okay, so the student will return to the student portal. So the student needs to wait uh, for the teacher to post or to confirm his or her score. And the teacher will post it. And the students could see the, the final paper here and the answer key in this part. So I suggest that uh, the teacher will not post it immediately in the middle of the scheduled date because uh, if the student will know the answer key and uh, he, know that he, he knows that he has the same set of tests with the other student, so the student could able to share the answers. Uh, I suggest that you, the teacher could uh, will post the graded papers uh, on the deadline or after the deadline, which is uh, September 19, I think, or yes, 19. That's the time to be posted so that uh, it is in the end of the uh, quiz or exam. So now let us uh, go back to the teacher's role. To the teacher's role, example, I mean, let's go back to the quizzes here. So the quiz is a sample quiz in physics. So 
Okay. Okay, you can see here Daniel Padilla score in the graded papers. So we we will uh, click as a teacher. We will view first and check. So as you can see, there we have primary answer, the answer key, and the student answer, and uh, the marks which is correct or wrong, and the key, the type set of exam set C. Okay, and the score is one. Okay, let's go back to quiz and go back here. Let's click here and let's manage. In the manage student portal posting, this is the time that if it is in the end of the scheduled exam, or we, you will post the, the score and also uh, the answer key, you click the manage student portal posting. As you can see, uh, you will click here, show primary answers. Primary Primary answers are the correct answers in each item. In what uh, uh, student, you can click here from Dania Padilla. If you click posting details here, the student could able to see the, in the post here, in the post and grade, graded papers here. So example, I will be the teacher and I will uh, click save posting. Okay. So after that, the paper was posted and updated in the student portal of that particular student that I uh, sent. So let us go back to the student portal. So how will uh, the student will know? Just uh, re refresh it again. Now you can see now the confirmed confirmed as uh, a paper student on that particular quiz class and the date taken of the exam and the score and the percent so in order to see the answer key the students will click the particular item and then the student could see the answer key in this part this is the student answers and this is the answer key okay to verify uh, his or her answer so let's return to the student portal. And then a series of assigned quizzes will be shown here if the teacher will add another exam or test for the students. After submission, the teacher will post and then it will show here in the student portal. Okay, so, so that's the end of this uh, discussion regarding verified uh, open submission in ZipGrade, which is uh, very uh, useful for us uh, in this time of pandemic because uh, we need this type of uh, strategy or approach in dealing with assessing student learning uh, in a way that uh, uh, it will not create uh, uh, some uh, difficulties for the for the for the students and also to the teacher if we will uh, decided to have this uh, virtual uh, assessment, uh, it, which is a remote answer sheet and also a paperless way of assessing student learning. So I hope that uh, this will be. Uh, 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 used in in your class uh, and and I hope that it this will be very useful also to you okay that's all thank you very much